algebraic expression and operations on them. Hello friends. Today we are going to see what algebraic expressions are and understand how they can be used. We will also study the mathematical operations that can be possible with them. For understanding algebraic expressions, we will first have to understand about variable, coefficient and term. For that purpose, we will take a simple example. Suppose that the price of a pen is rupees 10. Now, if we have to buy two pens, then how many rupees we will have to pay? One pen costs 10 rupees. Hence, two pens will cost 10 into 2 equal to 20 rupees. Is that correct? Here, we use the formula total cost equal to cost of one pen multiplied by the number of pens we need to buy. Since we know that one pen costs rupees 10, we used this formula of total cost equal to 10 multiplied by the number of pens that we bought. If we buy 4 pens, then total cost equal to 10 into 4 equal to 40 rupees. Similarly, for 7 pens, the total cost is 10 into 7 equal to 70 rupees. Friends, you must now have understood that in this example, we can substitute different number of pens bought in the formula and so find out how much money will be required for buying those many pens. This means that in this formula, the number of pens bought and the total cost are not fixed numbers and different numbers can take their place. They are called variables. So, in this formula, the number of pens bought and the total cost are two variables. When the name of any of our friends is too long or difficult, then we call him by a short, easy nickname. Similarly, if we use X to represent the number of pens bought and use Y to represent total cost, then we will be able to use the following formula. Y is equal to 10 into X or Y is equal to 10X in a more simple way. Now, remember that in this expression there are two variables, X and Y. If the variable is multiplied by a number, then that number is called the coefficient of that variable. Here, we multiplied x by 10. So, 10 is the coefficient of x. Now, this 10x is called one term. In this equation, the y on the left hand side is also a term. The addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of such terms is called as algebraic expression. Both terms y and 10x that we have used in the equation y equal to 10x are also algebraic expressions and the relation of equality makes up this equation. Now, let us see another example. Yesterday evening, I had bought some pens costing 10 rupees each and some notebooks costing 40 rupees each from the shop near my house. So, how do we find out how much money I spent? If I have bought one pen and one notebook, then the money I spent would be 10 rupees plus 40 rupees equal to 50 rupees. But if I have bought two pens and three notebooks, then the money I spent would be 2 times 10 plus 3 times 40 equal to 20 plus 120 equal to 140 rupees. If we have to show this in the form of a formula, then it will become as amount spent is equal to cost of pens bought plus cost of notebooks bought. Now, the cost of pens bought would be the cost of one pen multiplied by the number of pens. Similarly, the cost of notebooks bought would be the cost of one notebook multiplied by the number of notebooks bought. So, we will get money spent is equal to cost of one pen into number of pens bought plus cost of one notebook into number of notebooks bought. That means we can write this as money spent is equal to 10 into number of pens bought plus 40 into number of notebooks bought. Can you tell what are the variables here? 
In this formula, money spent, number of pens bought, and number of notebooks bought are the variables. Like the last example, if we use x for number of pens bought and y for number of notebooks bought, then we will get as amount is equal to 10 into x plus 40 into y. That means we can write this as money spent is equal to 10x plus 40y. In the algebraic expression 10x plus 40y, that is in 10x and 40y, 10 and 40 are coefficients of x and y respectively. Got it? Now, if I say that yesterday only my sister bought some pens costing rupees 12 each and some notebooks costing rupees 35 each and coincidentally she bought the same number of pens and notebooks as the pens and notebooks I bought. So what technique shall we use to find out the cost? We can use the same technique that we used for finding out the amount I spent to find the money that my sister spent. The only thing is that in the formula the coefficients of x and y would be 12 and 35 respectively as the cost of each pen that she bought is 12 rupees and the cost of each notebook that she bought is 35 rupees. So, the amount that she has spent would be 12x plus 35y. From this, the amount that we both spent is equal to the amount I spent plus the amount that my sister spent which is equal to 10x plus 40y plus 12x plus 35y. Please understand that since the number of pens that I bought and the number of pens that she bought are the same in quantity. So, we can use the same variable x in both the formulas and the same would apply to y as well. Now, the amount that we both spent is equal to 10x plus 40y plus 12x plus 35y, we can write this as 10x plus 12x plus 40y plus 35y or simplify this further to write as 10 plus 12x plus 40 plus 35y. So, the amount that we both spent is equal to 22x plus 75y. Please understand that here we have added the coefficients of the same variables only in the terms. Now, let us see another example. I have a rectangular piece of paper having 10 centimeters as length. Since its area is equal to length into breadth, we will get the area of the rectangle as 10 into breadth. As we don't know the breadth of the rectangle, we will use the variable a instead so that we will get the area of the rectangle as 10 into a is equal to 10a square centimeters. Now, if I cut a piece of 2 centimeter length from the rectangle, then what will be the area of the remaining rectangle? We have reduced the length of the rectangle by 2 centimeter. That would mean that the rectangle with us now has the length 10 minus 2 equal to 8 centimeters. And we have shown the breadth by the variable a, which means its area would be 8 into a, that is 8a square centimeter. We can also get this by subtracting the area of the piece cut from the rectangle. Area of the original rectangle minus area of the rectangular piece cut equal to 10a minus 2a equal to 8a. Please understand that here the variable a is the same in the terms 10a, 2a and so we subtracted their coefficients. For practice, try to simplify the following examples. First, 23x plus 17y is equal to 4x. 2, 2x plus 3 minus x plus 2. 3, 9x minus 2x plus 5y. 